as always, thank you for tuning in. We've been a little more absent than usual on here. Certainly doesn't mean we've been dormant. We've been operating our facility, doing a better job at it, staying consistent, making sure that the people here have every opportunity to improve themselves at a time when it is devilishly hard to improve yourself. We wanted to thank many people. We also wanted to make sure that anyone that's used to seeing us that hasn't knows that part of it is because we're squashed on this platform. Part of it is because we've been quiet behind the scenes doing the things that are going to make sure that we can do what we're doing now forever. Something I wanted to address quickly, I I see a lot of people talk about suffering for their craft, something that they'll die for. I've been thinking an awful lot about that, and I don't jump into projects that I'm not willing to allow to kill me. It's always kind of been my way. It's definitely not a positive attribute. I'm not saying it to pat myself on the back in any way, shape, or form. I've gone down with the ship more times than I should have and haven't learned my lesson. But when it comes to Wolf Brigade, when it comes to the people here, when it comes to the people that we've connected with, uh, that could not be truer. This is not a game. Didn't start out as one and certainly isn't one now. Aside from society eating itself, we've had a really unusual couple of years. We felt the early rumblings of cancel culture and it somewhat worked. We were dumped by our lily livered mace distributor that chopped us down quite a bit. What that forced me to do is kind of double down on the parts of this process that I could just take total ownership of, and that is how we train people. It's how we present our information. It's what we do behind the scenes to make sure that anyone that we reach anywhere on the planet has access to what we do. I'm not saying we do it perfectly, but we're still improving at it and we're working hard. The remote side of things for us has gone extremely well. It's proof of a process in a way that not many other things are. If you can land physical detail, mental discipline, consistency remotely, then remote training is a great idea. I think the way that we've put it together works well and and how we've handled it so far has been a a real pleasure. Watching people progress that we may not have even met, it's it's incredible. And we we wanted to say thank you for the people that have taken the risk uh, with that. I want to say a couple of actual thank yous. Our consistent crew here, t- teaching well, watching others improve is, is, a, life li- is a lifeline for me that, that I've understood for a long time but hadn't really put pull, full perspective on until, until this year. We've deep dove into details that have elicited progress in people, positions, concepts, far beyond what I ever thought we could have. And I credit most of that to coming into strength and conditioning from martial arts. I had no preconceived box when I came into strength training. And I believe that that's allowed us to expand in a lot of really different ways that remove a ton of gimmicks and simplify a lot of stuff that is just traditionally overcomplicated. I wanted to take a minute to dote over Matt in Toronto at Atlantic Avenue Athletic Club amidst the insanity and tyranny of Ontario, Canada. He's managed to stay upright with his place, drive people, keep them motivated, keep them task-oriented. Even though we hasn't been able to come down here, we haven't been able to go up there, and that's been that's been a gigantic blow. He's even managed to create He's even managed to create an instructor during all this mess. Charlotte. And another one with public assistance, Mark. What we do even when it goes perfectly is non-glamorous. It's difficult. 
detail-oriented, bullshit-free strength and conditioning training is not a growth model yet. But he's latched onto it in a way that I've never seen anyone else do so and has excelled amidst a time when so many others have either been forced out or opted out because the fucking fire is hot right now. So, supreme respect. Congratulations to Matt. I I don't even really know what else to say. I could go on for an hour, but I won't. Thank you to Heather for staying so far ahead of our MACE project, adorning each and every one of these tools in in a way that, that when we started this project many, many years ago, I never even could have put perspective on. We had always wanted to personalize them, and and I, (laughs) I... childishly personalized the first four or 500 of them, but to see what they've evolved into with no prior experience, she, she, she wasn't a, she wasn't a, a artist, you know, so, so what you guys are seeing on these maces now is, is just purely love of a craft and, and respect for a process and respect for a tool. And, and that has given such interesting identity to a project that I worked so hard to come to fruition with. And I just have so much respect for that amidst everything else that's going on. Uh, she's incredible and, and has stayed far ahead of the curve and, and we're never going to stop. <clears throat> I wanted to thank my main training partner here, Matt, <clears throat> for staying consistent, setting a high bar, and really probably without even knowing it, just provoking me to never fall a step behind. I've had a really challenging couple of years physically too. Even right now, my back is injured. Both of my arms are fucked up. Uh, I've been struggling physically. And it would be a really easy time to sit on the couch. But this morning I walked for 30 minutes in a hip circle, did 100 banded pullovers and 200 dry fires with a revolver, 100 on the left, 100 on the right. Never nothing. And that's easy to say, but really hard to execute, especially when you are mentally beat up, physically beat up, feel like you've been climbing uphill for 25 years and then finally got to the top of the hill a little bit and then took a big tumble back down it. But you know what doesn't matter? That. And I've been taught that by the people here and and, and Matt very specifically. There is not a day that goes by that I will not improve at something. The only time that would happen is when I am truly, truly done. And we're a long way from that. I want to thank Brandon Lilly for, even though he's a newer friend, reaching out when there isn't a reason, helping us when there isn't an end game. It's just the rarest. And it, I don't have to pine over it, but, but it's incredible and we've appreciated it so much and, and enjoyed it so much and, and we're just getting started. My friends in Virginia at Devotion are moving their gym. Enormous amounts of respect for the fact that that even still stands up. We've all been hit with a lot in the last couple of years and uh, regardless of how hard anyone is, that stuff hurts. It's damaging, it's consistently challenging. And so maintaining forward progress when you're simply trying not to drown is very, very challenging. Supreme respect to them. Can't wait to see their new facility. And just anyone that's always moving, always fighting, always climbing, they're, they're worth respect. And they, cer- they certainly have mine. Uh, Paul's Paul is someone that I consider a phenomenal friend. I want to thank my friend Johnny for keeping me straight on some shit that I wouldn't be straight on otherwise, and for somehow reading my mind when I need it. Uh, our friend Bridget here for simply just being kind to me, lightening my load with delicious things to eat and, and fun things to look at. Um, I don't take myself too seriously, but my mind is a pretty serious place most of the time and, and things like that are small, but, but sincerely appreciated. 
I also want to thank her for, at any given time, being the hardest working person in this extremely high bar of a room that never goes unnoticed. <clears throat> I want to thank everyone that shares our work. I also want to make sure that people know that much of that we don't see right now because the platform doesn't show us. I've seen things third party that have us tagged in them that we just don't get sent. And, I, and I, I try not to hunt so long on here that I just absorb my entire days with this place, but I wanna see what people do with us. I wanna see what they're sharing, but it's, it's just not how this is working right now. We're squashed for some reason, uh, apparently helping people largely for free <laughs> has been added to the burned book list. It certainly doesn't mean we're going to stop doing it. But we, we appreciate you if you share our information and especially if you take the time to tag us and especially, especially if you take the time to review our process and do it well. <clears throat> this is far from the end of the list. We could go on for hours with, with people that I'm grateful and thankful for. We appreciate everything. Always. There are not many of you that we're not grateful for. There are some though. <laughs> In short, just wanted to say that we're not going anywhere. Wherever we are going, it may be slower than we initially anticipated, uh, but it will never stop. I've jumped in this far. I feel like we're just getting started. We're making progress every day. In most realms of training people, we're far enough ahead of the curve where we can play our own game right now. We could rest on laurels if we chose to. But what I'm going to continue to do is improve every single day so that we're so far ahead of the curve that eventually we are the curve. If you want to come along for the ride, great. If not, you can just sit in the sidelines and watch. We'll be here doing what we're doing. I'll be doing what I've been doing since I was 14, which is working to help people in positive ways, all people, putting together things that are unique, accessible, things that have concept, things that have integrity, and not bending that for anybody. If that's what you respect and appreciate, then we're a great place for you. If not, there's plenty of other bickering in society that you can go partake of. Thank you all.